video is for anyone who is new to Gmetrics and hasn't used it yet, and maybe you haven't even created an account. So I already have a login to mine, but I'm going to pretend as if I didn't. What you wanna do if you haven't made an account yet is you're gonna go ahead and click sign up. I don't re recommend going here first because this is for a logging in, but you really wanna make sure you make yourself an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and press sign up. You're gonna give them your first and last name. You're also gonna go ahead and select your country. Right now I'm in the United States. Uh, you only need a student number if it's required by your instructor. For my personal students, you all don't need this. You're gonna enter your email address. Again, for my personal students, you all are gonna use your personal account or your school account, you decide. You are gonna need a username that is unique to you. And so if you get a warning message that pops up right here in red that tells you that the username is taken, go ahead and try to come up with a different one. Definitely choose a password that you are absolutely going to remember and then give yourself a security question. And when you're done, accept the terms of agreement and hit confirm. Once you're done, you'll be taken back to the login screen and you can hit sign in. From there, ooh, let me not do that, okay. So from there, once you get signed in, you'll be taken to a screen that will ask you to enter in your Gmetrics code or your access code. Hopefully you've been provided that by your teacher, so then you can go ahead and enter that on in and you can get access to your course through Gmetrics. Good luck on your certification exam.